Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 10 Yahweh said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart, and the hearts of his servants, that I may show these my signs among them, and that you may tell in the hearing of your son, and of your son's son, what things I have done to Egypt, and my signs which I have done among them, that you may know that I am Yahweh. Moses and Aaron went into Pharaoh and said to him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says. How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Or else, if you refuse to let my people go, behold, Tomorrow I will bring locusts into your country, and they shall cover the surface of the earth, so that one won't be able to see the earth. And they shall eat the residue of that which has escaped, which remains to you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which grows for you out of the field. Your houses shall be filled, and the houses of all your servants, and the houses of all the Egyptians, as not your fathers or your fathers' fathers have seen since the day that they were on the earth to this day. He turned and went out from Pharaoh. Pharaoh's servant said to him, How long will this man be a snare to us? Let the men go, that they may serve Yahweh their God. Don't you know that Egypt is destroyed? Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh, and he said to them, Go, serve Yahweh your God, but who are those who will go? Moses said, We will go with our young, and with our old, with our sons, and with our daughters, with our flocks, and with our herds, will we go. For we must hold a feast to Yahweh. The Pharaoh said to them, Yahweh go with you. If I will let you go with your little ones, see, evil is clearly before your faces. Not so. Go now, you who are men, and serve Yahweh, for that is what you desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the land of Egypt, for the locusts that they may come upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, even all that the hail has left. Moses stretched out his rod over the land of Egypt, and Yahweh brought an east wind on the land all that day and all night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. The locusts went up over all the land of Egypt, and rested in all the borders of Egypt. There were many in number. Before them there were no such locusts as they, nor will there ever be again. They covered the surface of the old earth, so the land was darkened, and they ate every herb of the land, and all the fruit of the trees which the hill had left. There remained nothing green, either tree or herb of the field, for all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste, and he said, I have sinned against Yahweh your God, and against you. Now therefore, please forgive my sin again, and pray to Yahweh your God, that he may also take away from me this death. They went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yahweh. Yahweh turned an exceeding strong west wind, which took up the locusts, and drove them into the Yam Suf. There remained not one locust in all the borders of Egypt. But Yahweh hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he didn't let the children of Israel go. 
Yahweh said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward the sky, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Moses stretched out his hand toward the sky, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt for three days. They didn't see one another, and nobody rose from his place for three days. All the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Pharaoh called to Moses and said, Go serve Yahweh, only let your flocks and your herds stay behind. Let your little ones also go with you. Moses said, You must also give into our hand sacrifices burnt offerings, which we may sacrifice to Yahweh our God. Our livestock also shall go with us. Not a hoof shall be left behind, for of it we must take to serve Yahweh our God. And we don't know with what we must serve Yahweh until we come there. But Yahweh hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he wouldn't let them go. Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me! Be careful to see my face no more! For in the day you see my face, you shall die. Moses said, What you have said is true. I will see your face again no more.